Hello everyone, it is Twin Plays here, bad another video, hope you guys are doing amazing. So recently we just left off with showing you guys how to make your game VR compatible. Now, if you haven't seen that video or the past few videos, feel free to go check them out. And also, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that post notifications. We are almost at 9,000 you guys, and that is that is just amazing. Um, also, if you want, join the Discord. We're at 1,000 members now, and we recently just did a giveaway on there. Um, but we do help out everyone who joins that, and, you know, if you need help, just in general, we help out people. Um, but welcome, everybody. You guys probably checked out the title and the thumbnail. We are going to be making a soft sh shutdown script and a GUI. Now, we're not going to be making it, but I'm just going to show you the model and everything about it. It's already made for you. So just go in the description and look for models real quick, and feel free to get this model. This is the soft shutdown model. Feel free to click right here and it should say item own now once you have this this means you will be able to import this into your game and there you go now we're basically on to the second part of this which is actually going to get this get this going now um so you guys are probably like what really is a soft shutdown now it's basically a gui that's going to pop up for players and it, this is when we a, a developer from the game is going to update the one want to update the game now Soft shutdowns are mainly important because you don't just want to shut down a game and have no reason or just be like, oh, did I crash or this and this. It's just not really fun. But this will pop up a GUI that says like certain things and it will inform the player that they're, they are updating the game. So we will also teleport them to a new server that has the new update and we'll just migrate them with other players or not. So it's, it's super nice. But of course, grab that model. Go to Toolbox and Studio and hit this button right here. This should be the shop shut down. It should be an inventory. Um, now this is going to be in a folder. Feel free to just grab this right here and then ungroup in server script. So just right click it and hit ungroup and then delete that folder. So we're putting this in server script because this needs to be to the server. Um, and what's going to happen is there's going to be a few things in here. Now you're already probably like, whoa, there's going to be a bunch in here. But don't worry, it's not too much. So let's just hop in with this everything and talk about how you can change it and then we'll go and do an example later but inside here is the main script okay now i do have all this kind of funny stuff don't worry about it uh, but let's just explain this so we grab the teleport service and the players um, by doing the game get services and then we have a local function called add UI now I personally want to say I didn't make this script from scratch this was a free model actually and I just edited it by adding this stuff right here and it's it's pretty easy pretty nice um, but this local function will be called later into the script but what happens is we're grabbing the soft shutdown by which is script dot soft shutdown right here and we're cloning it to the player and then we're going to clone it inside their GUI then we're gonna grab the player GUI and the frame so we're gonna go to player gui wait for child soft shutdown dot frame and then we're gonna tween it to their screen so this is makes it look cool and all that kind of jazz now this is the main script right here this is basically everything about it so what we're doing is we're checking if the game is a vip server if it is then we're just gonna warn it we're booting the server um and we're gonna wait wait time is 30 but what we're doing is if a player added we're gonna grab the teleport service and we're gonna send them to the game.place id which is going to be that new I, that new place we're looking at now um i don't really understand all this to be honest probably just the times like how long it's going to take for them to load in and out um but right here we have a full loop of course of getting all the players and teleporting all those players to that that new place but in the matter of this wait time which is 30 divided by two so it should be yeah <laughs> let's just not worry about that yeah <laughs> um so Basically, what you're going to do is uh, after that, so if they aren't in the VIP server, then we're going to do this um, new function, which is going to just check if they're um, another game. Okay, so this is like just out of a VIP and there's all these kind of little parts right here, but we're going to be giving the UI right here. So this is where we give them the UI by getting all the players in the game. Um, this is for another group of player just that just joins. So we do that. We add the UI too. Um, we wait 15 seconds and then we disconnect this. I think this is a function right here. So bind to close. Um, but reserve server code looks like. So this is, I'm guessing, where, okay, teleport to private server. So we're sending the place ID to the reserve server code, which is uh, reserve server game.place ID. So I'm guessing we're reserving this to another server so i'm not too good with teleport service maybe i'll put that on the screen reserve server and teleport to private service so these are probably part of teleport service and documentation but like i said i didn't make this script from scratch um and then we do a while loop and we just get the players until so 
oh, we do this whole function until there are less than zero players. And then once there are, then we just wait a second. And then I think we end the function. So that's kind of what's happening here. So we're just checking if they're VIP. If they're not, then um, we'll do the normal thing where we just send them to another server or try and find one um, when we add the UI. And same goes for VIP right here. Um, now, after we do that, okay, we're going into the main scripts right here and the main GUI. And I'll put this in starter GUI in a second. Um, but we have this local script, which is going to be between servers and starter GUI. We have the loading image. So I actually just grabbed my loading screen and added this starter core where it disables the start core GUI and then adds the teleport. If you want to change the teleport or like any of the stuff, I'm going to show you in a quick second here. But um, actually, we'll keep that open. So you can just bring this down and customize it by putting it into starter GUI. Now, you can be like it's gonna enable you can't see it right now so what you got to do is you got to grab the frame and set the position to zero 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 so just keep them all at zero now this is what it looks like um, you can change this all you want go in here change the logo um, by going to image label and just changing the image um, you can change the text label right here to different font you know whatever you like now in the script like I said this is where we change the text label so we change it to teleporting dot 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 dot, dot. you know we just do that little kind of loading kind of thing and then this is the message so we are updating our servers please wait while we type it in a server and you can change the fall all you'd like like i said guys do whatever you want um and then we have the image label so this is the icon and then this is the gradient in the background so the gradient's right here now if you guys want to change this you can feel free to do that as you can tell it's really cool so feel free to mess around with that um and the gradient does move so that's something cool to look at i'll just keep it like that whatever um, and then the local script is just the main script. So this is where we tween the uh, image. Um, and then this is where we disable the top bars. And then uh, for the UI gradient to make it move, we do it right here, which is just a uh, gradient kind of offset where it's just rotating it basically back and forth. But um, that's pretty much it, you guys. So now that we have this done, we're actually going to put this into service script service and show you how to how it works. So um, of course, let's publish it. So once you publish this to Roblox, okay, so once you've added this soft shutdown, okay, I want you guys to go into your game. So I'm going to click my game, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to show you real quick. And now that it's going to be opened up, you're going to have to uh, update it again because we got to uh, look for a new server. So now that it's going to be opened up right here. So now we just have our normal game. Uh, as you can tell, pretty sick. So now that we have this opened up, we're going to go right here and then we're going to just do something stupid. So let's go to marketplace, add a sword and hit yes to starter pack. And then we're going to hit file and then publish to Roblox and wait for that to say publish successfully. There you go. Now you're going to go to your game right here. Okay. So I'm actually have them both up. I'll probably do it in a second here and you're going to do the right two dots and you're going to hit migrate to latest update. So to do a soft, soft shutdown, hit migrate to latest update. That's because it will pop up the GUI for you. So I'm going to do it on the other screen and show you because it should pop up on my other screen. Sometimes it shuts down the server on accident. I don't know. Oh, there you go. So this is what happens. So this is where we are updating our servers. Please wait. Now the wrong, <laughs> how stupid. Uh, make sure to tween that back down to 001. So it should, I'll have to, let me uh, let me just quickly do that. So you'll go back to here. Um, that's what I screwed up on. That's why I didn't really do that, right? So right here, I'll go back to one. There we go. Um, and then publish. That's my bad. Um, and I'll show you exactly. So it did upload us to another thing. So let me just uh, click it one more time. Let's see what happens. So now it does this, okay? So this is where it shuts down because it did a little problem. So we're gonna reconnect real quick. Let me just get this ready for you. Okay, so I have the sword in this one, but I just removed it. So now we're gonna go to the page again and hit migrate to latest update, hit yes. And there you go, it does the tween for you. So that's that's basically what it's supposed to look like. And I hope you guys like this because I tried my best on it, just having the teleport, you know, this little logo sign spinning. You can change this all you guys want, but I thought this was really cool. So, um, and as you can tell, it disabled all the GUIs up here. So you just have this one. Um, now, see what's gonna happen is it's gonna load me to the new server that has an update, which has a sword and everything. So there you go, everyone. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button and then feel free to comment and like this video. Now, um, I have a lot more planned and I hope you guys are liking the uploads here, the upload times. I'm trying my best to just keep it constant. Um, I'm probably uploading on the weekdays, not the weekends. As you can tell, guys, I'm uploading, I'm actually recording this on the same day as I recorded the VR video. So I'm doing everything on a Sunday and then I'm publishing Monday and Tuesday and then I'm going to figure out what I can do for Wednesday and Thursday depending on the scripts I have to make up and then it just did that real quick but I don't you know whatever um so <laughs> yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this video please feel free to comment subscribe and share I'll see you guys in the next one peace out you guys thank you